A woman who knows a lot about coming out of the last global recession and the Financial Stability Board and ensuring that banks are in the right sort of a place at the right time is, of course, Secretary Clinton. How much are you now seeing the ripe opportunity for regulation, a change in regulation, a, a streamlining in regulation, as we see in Indonesia, and the relationship with policymakers and banks in the U.S.? You yourself, of course, know banks well, having been New York senator for years, but also financial services, there can be a smooth relationship, but also one where people then say you're too close to the banks almost. H how do you advise and the administration coming in, Biden in particular, of how to have a relationship with Wall Street and the banks, but also to have a smoother and perhaps re new regulation to help it more seamless? Well, I, I really think, Caroline, that uh, the emphasis uh, for the new administration should be on the so-called real economy. Uh, that is not to take anything from the financial services uh, sector, because obviously we know the important role it plays. Uh, but there has to be a focus on how we're going to, uh, as RJ uh, said, get more people into the real economy. It will do us no good to have uh, interconnectivity if uh, there is no reliable way of translating that information into economic opportunity. Uh, so in the United States, I think there has to be a much greater focus on the reforms that are needed uh, in our market system uh, so that uh, we do give a better uh, foundation, a better starting uh, point for people who want to get into small and medium-sized businesses. Uh, there are a lot of regulatory and legal hurdles uh, to the uh, creation and the success of small businesses. I also think we have to take a hard look at our unemployment system. I, I think that the uh, the original stimulus uh, post-COVID uh, was uh, not uh, sufficient. It really did uh, not reach those people, the, either the employees or the small businesses uh, that were in the greatest need. Uh, we've got a lot of hard work to do to try to shift the focus uh, to the so-called real economy. And I think that's what you'll see from a Biden-Harris administration, because if we don't get economic activity, uh, particularly in the small and medium-sized uh, business sector going again, uh, if we don't get the support that uh, people in the workplace need, particularly women when it comes to uh, family leave, when it comes to uh, reliable, affordable child care, if we don't get those pieces in place, then we're going to have both serious economic and political uh, consequences from the impact uh, that the virus has had on an already uh, shaky uh, market system when it came to the real economy. At the moment, though, Secretary, we're still waiting for any sort of next stage of relief package to be agreed, and we can't find that agreement across the aisle. How much hope do you have that that can sort of bipartisanship can be forged at the moment when the economy seems to be needing it? Well, I'm hoping that there can be some agreement in the lame duck. Uh, Joe Biden called for that. Uh, I thought that was an, uh, a very important uh, statement that he made that go ahead, do something now because people are suffering now and we're losing uh, economic ground. Uh, but if nothing happens in the uh, lame duck session, then I expect to see uh, President Biden come forward with uh, a comprehensive uh, package of relief for workers, for uh, small businesses in particular, but generally for the uh, productive economy. And I know there's a big role for the financial sector to play, but you know, if you look at the data, um, going back certainly to the 2008 uh, crisis, uh, you, we really still have an overhang. Uh, you know, real, um, real asset uh, acquisition and sustainment among uh, so many families has never recovered from 08. That's particularly true for African American and Latino and other families, but more generally across the economy. So I'm hoping that something will happen in the next uh, you know, months before the new uh, administration comes into effect. But if not, I have a lot of confidence that uh, Joe Biden uh, and Kamala Harris will do everything they possibly can uh, to forge a bipartisan consensus to help the real economy. Your hope for multilateralism now, your hope for the new administration to be able to reach cross-border, particularly with the likes of the Alibaba-grown Chinese company. You know, th th this is a U.S. versus China, but U.S. and working with the rest of the world. 
You know, I, I, I believe strongly uh, that there has to be a renewed effort uh, by the American government under the uh, Biden administration uh, to try to rebuild uh, multilateralism, not for the sake of it, but for uh, using it as a tool to try to reach uh, some agreements on some of these issues. As the minister was saying, uh, it would be a lot easier for her to deal with the challenges that fintech and tech and, and digitization and everything else uh, that she's facing uh, in Indonesia, if there could be an effort to uh, develop some global standards, as RJ said. I mean, the lack of global standards in a globalized economy uh, makes it very difficult for not just governments, but businesses and consumers to know what the rules are. I mean, how are we supposed to understand what to expect uh, from a global economy and from multinational corporations uh, that can more easily cross borders uh, if we don't know what the standards are. So I would like to see a concerted effort by the Biden administration to begin that process again, to look for um, some agreement. Now, maybe not every country would participate. We saw, as you just said, quite a disturbing uh, action by the Chinese government with respect to Alibaba and Ant. Uh, as far as, as we know, you know, they are cracking down and consolidating, but we should still get the rest of the world because ultimately even China is going to have to sell into and work within a global economy. And we need to reestablish new standards to replace the standards of the past.